Introducing Rights, page 358, 6.5 new textbooks. The only difference between rights and ratios is that rights compare quantities measured in different units, where ratios compare quantities with the same units. So let's look at some example of rights. You will be very surprised to see how many times you use different rights in just your everyday talk and everyday explanation. Examples of rights are speed, which is measured in kilometers per hour. That gives us the relationship between distance and time. Fuel prices, dollars per liter. Heart rate, where we measure the beats per minute. So how many beats does your heart give for a certain time? Rent, and rent can be different things. It can be dollars per day, dollars per hour, dollars per week. So we can see how the cost has a relationship to whatever time unit you are using. Interest rates is a percentage per year. So we can say that the fixed rate at, for this home loan on this example is 4.89% per annum, which just means 4.89% every year. Fruit and veggies are sold by the kilogram. For example, 45 cents or two dollars per kilogram. Or it can also be a ratio of dollars per number. For example, they say five dollars for eight, or five dollars for ten, or five dollars per bag. That all is the rates that we're using. As you can see, there's many other examples which we won't go on into now. Now, if we look at um, the rates, there's things that we have to, out of the examples you should have picked up. You can see that all rates must include the unit of the quantity that we're looking at. So it was kilometers per hour, it was liters per uh, dollars per liter. The second thing that we also have there is the slash. So instead of using, uh, instead we use the slash, instead of using the um, the colon like in ratios. And that slash just means it's the symbol for per. So we say kilometers per hour, dollars um, per kilogram, etc., etc. Example 12, writing simplified rates. Express each of the following as a simplified rate. 12 students for two teachers. So we'll do it exactly the same as we've done with the rates, the ratios. So we'll say 12 students. Instead of two, we will use per two teachers. Now we'll get rid, and usually we're going to get per one. So which means I'm going to get rid of the per two teachers and divide by two both sides. That will give us 12 divided by two is six students per one teacher. And that is what we want to do. We want to find something where it says one teacher or per one. So our final answer is six students per one teacher. In example B, it is $28, $28 per four kilograms. Use the units, you can use abbreviations. I want to get rid of the four because I want to have it per one, which means divide by four on the left hand side, divide by on the right hand and the left hand side. And that will give us 28 divided by four is the same, wrong color. 28 divided by 4 is $7 per 4 divided by 4 is 1 kilogram. So this simplified ratio or simplified rate is $7 per kilogram. I would like you now to pause the video and do exercise 6 point, uh, 6E number 134 column 1 according to our indicator here. The only other thing that we can ask you in this topic is the average rate. Now the average rate is calculated by dividing the total change in one quantity by the total change in the second quantity. 
And this is much easier when we only look at an example. Example 13, finding average rates. Tom was 120 centimeters tall when he turned 10 years old. He was 185 centimeters tall when he turned 20 years old. Find Tom's average rate of growth per year between 10 and 20 years of age. Now that seems like a mouthful, but if we highlight what we need, it becomes much easier. They ask us to find Tom's average rate of growth per year. So the per is important, and then they say the growth per year. And there we have our, our equation. We're going to say the average rate of growth, so we need growth per year. And because they say it's average rate, we need to know what was the change in the growth. So the rate, the change, the change in growth, or the change in length, to be more specific, the change in length was 185 take away 120. So we can see that he grew, in that time, he grew 65 centimeters. The number of years, the change in years, as we are working with average, so the change in years would have been from 20 to 10, which means there was a total of 10 years change. Therefore, we can say that the ratio was 65 centimeters was the growth, and that was done in 10 years. We have to simplify, which means we want per year, and to do that, I have to divide by 10 to get it to one year, and I have to divide by 10 to get it to the other side as well. This will give us 65 divided by 10 is one color. That will give us 6.5 centimeters per one year. That is our final answer. I would like you now to pause the video and do the following questions. Once you finish these questions and you have marked them, please come to class with questions of things that you have not understand. Thank you.